Nothing in the coat pockets. Okay, okay. The week's work schedule is written here. Ink ribbon. Take the ink ribbon. Yeah, go on. Then. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna save. It honestly don't matter. It don't matter how many saves I did and stuff like that. It don't matter what time it is when I finish it. You can save your progress with this. Use an ink ribbon. Yes, please. And number five. New. Yeah, yes, yes. Dump all the crap out. Get rid of the ink ribbons, the herb, and the hemostatic. As soon as I can, I'll try backtrack and give that guy. Because I don't think I ever did that. I think I went when I played through it on the PS2. I think I went back to him, but way too late or something. And I think he was already dead or gone or something like that. Is like a trail of blood. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Whoa. Not fast enough that time. <laughs> Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> He's great! I swear to god, I think Mark Hamill could do a really good like remake of CVX. If they do it if they ever do a remake of CVX, everybody gotta join me in a petition to get Mark Hamill as Alfred's voice. I reckon he'd do some serious justice to that. Ah, beat through the door again! Oh well yeah, I guess you go into an area and he said that oh there's gonna be loads of traps and shit like that, so yeah, I'll, I'll let you off with that hard beat. Yes, yeah, send some work Mark Hamill's way. He did good in Arkham Asylum. He, sh he could do a good CVX remake as um, Alfred. Send some work his way. A up. Oh! There's a submachine gun. It isn't loaded, but take it anyway. Yeah, go on. You've taken the submachine gun. Taking up two slots. Thank you. There's ammo for the submachine gun. Okie dokie. Ah, son of a bitch, man. Uh. Oh, mini T. Holy fuck, stretch it. Run so fastly. I'm not even gonna fight it. Oh my god, it's got down here faster than I have. Oh my god, the door is locked. Oh, shit in balls. Go back upstairs. It's faster than what I can do it. Go back downstairs. Oh my god, he's done it before I've even got. To oh no way! Back upstairs. He's so quick. Stop it! <laughs> Not right. You, right, you attacked me. As soon as you're gonna attack me again, right? Yeah, no, he didn't work. I'm intangible. I'm going down steps. He's still faster. This is about the only good way I can figure doing this. <laughs> what is this? I got him! And he didn't even put me down? Yes! <laughs> Exploit the steps! <laughs> there we go, sweet. Bogan actually did really good for itself there. Bogan has actually redeemed itself in my eyes now. It did terrible versus zombies. Great versus nothing. Absolutely shit gun. Fuck's sake, he didn't drop him at all. Matrix! He's not happy about that shit. Lucas actually would do quite a lot of damage. They are nasty. I won't get that close to it though. <laughs> oh yeah, that felt good. 
Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. Give me the guns. Give me the guns. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. <laughs> here. Take these. Machine guns? For me? <laughs> you make a deal in exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> Done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, there's no ammo in them. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back! You're heavier than you look. Ooh. Hurry up! Happy now? One clip! What? One measly clip! I wouldn't be happy about that. Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Sounds pretty fun, actually. Just turn into death. Yeah, come on. Why not? Okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> <laughs> He's well suited about that. I don't blame him, I would be suited. You got a couple of nice machines. What the fuck? Proper just threw me in there. What the hell? What the. Right, I'm just gonna have a two minute break, guys, because I've, um, I've noticed that the stream is reporting zero viewers, so. Clearly, giving Steve the machine guns was a bad move in regard to Steam viewer uh, stream viewership. But I, don't, I think it's just a, a bug or something like that, or an error. I don't think it's zero viewers, because nobody's complained. There would be a massive, um... There would be a massive chat. What? 505?! Holy crap! Wow! New st stream record for us there, guys. 500 plus. Well done. Big thanks to everybody watching there. Big, big thanks. I'm just going to have a quick two-minute smoke break. Just two minutes. I, I do I do need a, 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 just a little break. Two minutes. And, um... And then I'm going to play on for another half an hour, and that'll be four hours then. No, wait. Three hours in a row. Not done for the night, though. Not done for the night. We're going to go up to the three-hour point. Then I'm going to have half an hour's break, just while I have, like, a coffee, something to eat, just, you know, kind of, like, recharge a little bit. And then I'm going to get into another set. Another episode, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, I'll break at the, uh, the three-hour point. But just for just for a couple of minutes break, shut down to nine four hundred ninety two now. <laughs> I scared him off. I scared him off. It's still there. It got there. It got there. Big thanks to everybody that showed up from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, the website, all the community lot. Cheers to the mods as well for doing a really good job of moderating. Always got me back of the mods. Muchly appreciated. It gives them a bit of action as well. It does. Oh, they're they're up for the action on um, the JTV chat definitely. Because the shout box is usually quite quiet, so they're up for it, definitely. Like I said, they've always got me back, good lads. Don't, don't even need to worry about the um, the chat on Twitch or anything like that. See, back in the days when it was kind of like Ustream versus JTV, the chat could go quite wild on Ustream. But slow mode plus some good mods, we are back. You're laughing on Justin TV and Twitch. Yeah, I'll answer, um, I'll um, have a good look at the old stream chat for the moment. So OTG, just curious, says Blue Blur. Get the um, Metal Gear Solid HD collection. It's been dispatched tomorrow. Dispatched tomorrow. What will chain on to Coveronica X will be Metal Gear Solid 2, in case anybody um, hadn't read on the shout box me saying about that. Straight from Coveronica X, when that's done, we're going straight into Metal Gear Solid 2. We're hitting two of the biggest HGSF targets in the last three to four years. They're both getting done in the same month. It's my way of... Kind of, like I say, hitting the two biggest targets and giving people what they want and... A, a semi-apology 
for last year being a bit slower than previous years and stuff like that. So I've said, right, as soon as we hit January, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get the games done that people really want. Pe the games that people have been asking me the most for. And Code Veronica X is not only my most wanted HGSF, it was a lot of people's wanted it. They'd have taken any Resident Evil, but Code Veronica X, when I say it's my favourite one, they want that. And Metal Gear Solid 2 is legendary in HGSF circles. HGSF circles. But yeah, it's it's been the most requested by far. So we're hitting key targets this year, guys. We mean business. Did you finish Homecoming? I would... You know, Homecoming is the only HDSF that I have been... My hand has been forced to stop. It was... It, it, seriously, I wanted to carry on regardless of problems. My hand got forced. I could not finish it. It'll go down in um, the TV tropes as being the only HDSF that I was forced to abandon. Not because of, like, cats breaking hard drives and making me lose saves. Not because of any of that. Purely down to... It's unplayable. But I will be getting it again. I'll be picking up a bargain bin version of Silent Hill Homecoming. I... As a rough ballpark figure, maybe at Halloween. Because the Silent Hill 3 and 4... No, sorry, it's 2 and 3. Silent Hill HD collection sort of weird thing. That's coming out in March. So I'll be doing Silent Hill 3 in March. And I'll do Homecoming around um, the end of the year, you know, Halloween sort of time. So that's the rough plan at the moment, dudes. That's the rough plan. He took Grady PC or TG, yes, definitely. It's got a nice amount of RAM in there, and I'm still using the graphics card that y'all set me up with um, last year. No, sorry, it wasn't last year, it was November of 2010. When my sound card, uh, sorry, not my sound card, my video card died during the middle of amnesia, gutting. And um, you all banded together and sorted me out. Uh, uh, was it now a GTS 450? But the GTS 450 has been so solid, really has. I've not even debated about changing that graphics card yet. Really, really haven't. And um, it, But it's not the graphics card that's the problem with streaming, it's all down to CPU. And it's just a big massive drain. You need a separate PC for it, really. You need a separate PC to do the streaming while you play on the PC. Or like what I'm doing today, where you've got the Xbox playing the game, and you've got the PC doing the streaming. That's the best way. PC specs wise, um, I've got 8GB of RAM. I upgraded the RAM about a month ago to 8GB so I could do more work in After Effects. So the RAM's fine, the hard drives are all fine. I've got about 2.5TB or something like that of hard drives. They're all fine. Graphics cards are GTS 450. And the CPU is a very low-end quad-core. I think it's like quad-core, each core's 2.2 gig, 2.3 gig or something like that. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It serves me well. When I, you know, when you consider that, the PC's always on. I render really hard. And I, I really do put a massive strain on my PC. And it does really well. It really does well. Have you played any of the Outbreak games? Yes, I played the first one on the PlayStation 1. Kind of liked it. It was very harsh, though. Very hard. Very unforgiving. But it seemed like a really good idea. I would like to play it at some point. Be one of those random games that break out at some point. System Shock 2. I really want to play System Shock 2. Is that the one with... Uh, is it Shodan? The um, computer AI. I fucking love computer AIs. I really do. So I really need to play System Shock. Did I play Bioshock 2? No, not yet. Claire's got it on a Steam. I shall play it at some point. Are you going to hate yourself Borderlands 2? Most definitely. Are you going to get Resident Evil 6? Most definitely. OTG's thoughts on Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City? It's a day one buy for me. I, I hope that the day one buy is going to be justified because I'm going to get it on the Xbox when I was going to get it on the PC a month later. Hopefully it's going to be as good as what I'm expecting. I'm kind of expecting Left 4 Dead and Gears, kind of, mixed, I don't know, with Resident Evil setting, I just d don't know really what to expect with it, but I'm hoping it's going to be good. Resident Evil 5 will be done cooperatively with Claire when we get onto a similarly synced sleep pattern and I can find the time to um, do it. I haven't played any Dynasty Warrior games, unfortunately. I, I hear good things about Dynasty Warriors, but I've not played any. 